Well, welcome back to day four of our music class. Today's theme is called Around the World. But first, let's sing our song, I Will Be Your Friend. Are you ready for our trip around the world? Our first stop, we're gonna fly all the way to Africa, specifically the country of Ghana. Now, children in Africa sing and dance all their time. All, sorry, words would help. All right, are you ready to travel around the world with me? Our first stop is in a country in West Africa called Ghana. In Africa, kids sing and dance all the time. It's a big part of their culture. And this is a song called Obwisana. Now, we are going to be singing in a different language, but the words are really easy. I want you to pause this video and find an instrument that you have made with Miss Shank this week. Did you find an instrument? It may be a shaking instrument or an instrument that you strike, it's up to you, but I want you to find an instrument. Right now, I actually just have some rocks with me, some rocks that my daughter have, has painted. So I'm gonna sing this song, and I want you to take your instrument, and I want you to match the steady beat that I do as I sing the song. It goes like this. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Let's try it faster again. Ready? I think you probably know the words now. Join me. You ready? Obisana sana, obisana sa. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Can we make our city beat even faster? Let's try one more time. Ready? Obisana sana, obisana sa. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Great. Now you might be wondering, Miss Elliot. What are we actually saying? Well, it, this song is actually roughly, roughly translated to me. Grandma, I, hit, I smashed my fingers with the rock. And in Ghana, they actually play this game as a rock passing game. So if you have a rock or maybe a stuffed animal that you can use as a beat buddy or a rhythm stick of sorts, you can play this with your family as a rock or stick or beat buddy passing game. What you're going to do is take your item in front of you, have your family members sit in the circle with their own rock or item, and you're going to pass it along like this. And I will tell you, my students always use their right hand and we pass counterclockwise in the circle. We're going to grab on the word ob for obusana, and then on the extra sana, we're going to pass it to the person in front of you. Now, if you don't have anyone else that you can do the song with right now, you can take your rock or instrument or beat buddy and just do it in front of you like this. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Can you try that with me? In fact, I'm gonna switch to a bigger rock that you might be able to see better. Try it with me, ready? Here we go. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Obisana sana, obisana sa. Now, if that is too easy, 
you can try to do what we call the microbeat. During the song, when we were first learning it, sometimes we did this, other times we did this. Still a steady beat, but just twice as fast. So this time, let's try it twice as fast, just like this. Ready? Here we go. Oh, we sana sana, oh, we sana sa. Oh, we sana sana, oh, we sana sa. Wonderful job. We'll bring that back on Friday. All right, we're going to travel all the way from Ghana up north to a country called Denmark. We're going to do a dance called Seven Jumps. Now the catch is, we're not actually going to jump at this song, but this is an add-on song, kind of like what we did on day one with an Austrian Wet Yodeling. So every time we do the dance, we're going to add on a movement at the end. Now, one of my rules to my students is always be in control of your body. And there are times where we're going to be balancing on one foot. So my rule in class is, if you're going to lose your balance, it's okay to put a foot down. All right, let's try this dance. We're gonna actually start by skipping in place. So just follow along. Ready? Watch what I do. Clap, clap, clap. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Try it again. Lift one foot up. We're gonna skip again. Here's our class and stomps. Clap, clap, clap. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Now, we're gonna lift up that same foot again. Let's try the other foot. Good, ready? Here we go. Go down on one knee and back up. And here's our claps and our stops. One knee, Ooh. other knee, one knee down, other knee down. And back up, and here we go. Try to balance, one knee up, other knee. One knee down, other knee down, uh-oh, one elbow down. And back up, and you guys ready? One knee up, one knee down, other knee, one elbow, other elbow. And back up, and skip. Uh-oh, here's our seventh one. Did you make it? Here's our third, our fourth, our fifth, our sixth, and then we're gonna put our head down. And then back up. And like any folk dance, you do a little bow or curtsy at the end. Whew, take a break. Get a drink of water, come back when you're ready. Yeah. 
We're going to travel to one more country. It's the country of Mexico. So we're going to sing a Mexican counting song called Tres Pajaritos. Now, you probably have never sung or spoken in Spanish before, so I'm going to teach you a few basic words. First of all, we're going to count one, two, and three. Dime echo. Uno, dos, tres. Try that with me. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Now, the next phrase is, or the next word is, pajaritos. And when you hear the word pajaritos, that's Spanish for bird. Pajaritos. Good. Our next phrase is, cantan a si. Cantan a si. That means, sing like this. And our last phrase is what birds sound like. Now, what do you say to imitate a bird? Do you say, tweet, tweet, or chirp, chirp? In Spanish, they say, piparriaria. Ready? Piparriaria. So those are the phrases in Spanish. Now, this is an echo song. So whatever I sing, you're going to echo back. So be my echo. Uno, dos, tres. Tres pajaritos. Cantan así. Wonderful. Let's try it one more time. Hopefully the words are getting to be a little bit more comfortable. Let's try it. Uno, dos, tres. Tres pajaritos. Cantan así. Piparearea. Cantan así. Wonderful. We're, we're going to travel back and end with our goodbye song, Our God is a Great Big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He is higher than a skyscraper, deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams. He's known me and loved me since before the world began. How wonderful it is. Big God.